He is the talent of the century. That's what Liverpool's Jurgen Klopp said about Gabriel Martinelli back in 2019, when the Brazilian was just debuting in England as an 18-year-old. Now, fast forward to 2023, and it seems like we can all now see what Klopp saw in 2019. A very dangerous and unstoppable winger who's absolutely running things for Arsenal. The story of this very dangerous winger started in Brazil where he was born and raised. He got into football at the tender age of 9, and he started out playing for the futsal team of one of the biggest clubs in the country, Corinthians. He rose through the ranks as a young lad, and everyone who saw him knew he was an immense talent. When he was 14, he moved to Ituano FC, a club based in Sao Paulo, and it was there he really started to shine. He was in Ituano's youth system for three years, and during that time, he had trials with big European clubs including Barcelona and Manchester United. He didn't make his move to Europe then, but it was not far away anymore. What he got though, was his first professional contract at the age of 16. Ituano saw how good the kid was and immediately gave him a 5 year contract, which he signed in November of 2017. He however, did not make his debut with the senior team until 4 months later. When he did, he became the youngest ever football player to play a game for Ituano FC in the century. That was the first official record he broke, and it was most definitely not to be the last. His first official goal for the club came in September 2018, and in the 2019 Campeonato Paulista, he finished as the club's top scorer, inspiring them to get as far as the quarterfinals. Arsenal didn't need any further convincing. They had seen all they needed to see. So, amidst interest from a few other big clubs in Europe, the Gunners succeeded in signing the Brazilian sensation, and they brought him over to North London in the summer of 2019. Arsenal paid just £6 million for the boy, and that looks like such an incredible bargain right now. The initial plan was for the 18-year-old Martinelli to start out playing with the under-21s, but the boy showed so much promise in the preseason that Unai Emery decided to integrate him straight into the first team. So, when the season resumed in August, he made his debut for Arsenal, but that was only a six-minute cameo appearance. The day we really saw the boy go was on the 24th of September, where he got his first start as an Arsenal player. It was against Nottingham Forest in the EFL Cup, and the boy absolutely stole the show. The first goal was great. He latched onto a cross and put the ball in the back of the net like a centre forward. But you see the second? The second was what really announced him as a real menace in England. He dribbled from the midfield and curled a really beautiful ball from outside the penalty area. What a way to show up for your first ever start for a big European club. And you see those two goals he scored, they totally encapsulate the type of player Martinelli is. He can act as a centre forward, staying in the middle and being a poacher, or he can act as a winger dribbling from the left wing and cutting in to produce goals or score them himself. He can also operate from the right wing if you so desperately need him to, but it's no news that his preferred position is the left wing. In his second start for the club and his first in Europe, Martinelli scored yet another brace to open his tab for the month of October that year. That month turned out to be his best month in his debut season at Arsenal. He got that brace in the Europa League against Standard Liège on the 4th of October, scored one against Vitoria Guimaraes on the 24th of October, and then, on the 30th of October, he went on to have one of his best games in an Arsenal shirt against Liverpool. This was the game that turned Jurgen Klopp into a believer. In an EFL Cup quarter-final game between Arsenal and Liverpool, which will go down as an all-time classic, Martinelli stood up and was one of Arsenal's best players on the night. He played as a centre forward in that game and he scored two very typical centre forward goals. That classic ended 5-5, with Martinelli getting yet another brace in the first half and also converting his penalty in the shootout. Unfortunately, Ceballos missed his kick and Arsenal were knocked out. But even though he was on the losing side that day, everyone who watched that game was able to identify what a talent Martinelli is. With his goals that day, he became the first player to score four goals in his first four starts for Arsenal since, guess who, Ian Wright. The boy has always been in good company. Also, after the game, Jurgen Klopp, whose defence was terrorised by the 18-year-old winger, called Martinelli the talent of the century. That's how good he is. Deservedly, he won the award for Arsenal Player of the Month of October by a landslide, but he refused to rest on his laurels. He continued to score goal after goal, and one thing that really endeared Martinelli to the Gunners was that he knew how to show up in the big games. In just his first season, he scored against Liverpool and in derbies against Chelsea and West Ham. He ended that season with 10 goals and 4 assists in 26 appearances, and became the first teenager to hit double figures in goals in a single season for Arsenal since Nicolas Anelka. What did we just say about good company? But it wasn't all just smooth sailing for Martinelli. In June 2020, while he was flying this high, a nasty injury came and ruled him out for the rest of the year. 
At least, that's what the doctors said. He was supposed to be out for the rest of the year, but the boy managed to make his first appearance since the injury in December. In January 2021, he then sustained yet another injury, which ruled him out for about a month. All these injuries made that season so bad for him. After having 14 goal contributions in the 2019-20 season, he ended up with just 4 in the 2020-21 season. 2022 wasn't off to a flying start for him either, as he picked up his first ever red card of his professional career in a Premier League game in February. But he came back strong and still managed to produce 13 goal contributions in 36 appearances. That was an average of one every two games. Well, what we did not know was that these dips were preparing him for the best season of his career so far. And right from the jump, Martinelli showed that he means business this season. He scored in Arsenal's opening game of the season, becoming the first ever Brazilian to score a season opener in the history of the Premier League. Great Brazilian strikers like Firmino, Willian, and even his teammate Gabriel Jesus have been in the Premier League before him, but none were able to achieve that feat before him. That's the kind of talent we're talking about here. And in the 2022-23 season, Martinelli has been proving to us how very unstoppable he is and also how much of a big game player he is. He scored one against Leicester, assisted one in the North London derby, scored and assisted against Liverpool, and then scored in the derby against West Ham in the first half of the season. These performances forced Brazil to call him up for the 2022 World Cup. And despite the abundance of talent the Brazil national team has on the left wing, including Neymar and Vinny Jr., Martinelli still featured in three out of the five games for the Seleção at the tournament, which included one full game. And since he came back from Qatar, he has continued to put up amazing performances in the Premier League, scoring goal after goal after goal. Right now, he sits in the top five top scorers in the league, and of course, he's Arsenal's highest goal scorer in the Premier League so far this season. If you count Rashford as a centre forward, then Gabriel Martinelli is the highest scoring winger in the Premier League so far. Talk about a truly unstoppable winger. Can he end up being Arsenal's best player this season? Can he make it into the PFA or Premier League Team of the Year? Let us know what you think in the comments.